Hi, welcome to Math Test Prep, where today we're going to answer a standardized math test question where we are asked to interpret slope and y-intercept. Colton is heating a pot of water. He records the temperature of the water in the pot every minute. This equation models Colton's data where x represents the number of minutes the water has been heated and y represents the temperature of the water in degrees Fahrenheit. y equals 7.5 or 7.5x plus 40. Part A, we're asked, what does the coefficient 7.5 in the equation represent in the context of this situation? So first we're gonna identify what we're being asked to explain. We're asked to explain the coefficient 7.5. That is the value that comes before the variable x. That is what a coefficient is. We know that this is written in the form y equals mx plus b, where m represents the slope, which is also our rate of change, which is expressed as m is the variable that represents slope, and we talk about it being the change in y over the change in x. So now let's go back up to our problem. y represents the temperature and x represents the number of minutes. So what we're being asked to identify is how the temperature changes by the minute. Our slope is our unit rate. So we can now say that the temperature of the water increases seven and a half degrees Fahrenheit every minute. So again, y to x, temperature to minutes. So how is the temperature rising to minutes? We know it's rising because it's positive. So, so the temperature is increasing seven and a half degrees per minute. Part B, what does the value 40 in the equation represent in the context of the situation? So going back to what we are identifying that we're going to describe the value 40, we know that this is written in slope intercept form. And now we're talking about B, the Y intercept. So our y-intercept is our initial amount because we know that the value of b is the y-intercept and any y-intercept has an x-coordinate of zero. So we know that we can also represent the y-intercept with the ordered pair zero b, x, y-coordinate. So when x is zero, whatever b is represents our initial amount. So what that tells me is if we go back up here, when our minutes are zero, so when we haven't started recording time, that is our initial temperature. So we can take that and we can say, initially the water temperature was 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Now part C, what is the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit of Colton's pot of water after 16 minutes? So again, we're finding the temperature after 16 minutes. We're going to go back up and understand that x represents the number of minutes. So we can take that and put it in for x. They're asking us to use this equation when x is 16, what is y? y represents the temperature. So we're going to say 7.5 times 16 plus 40. 7.5 times 16 is 120. 120 plus 40 is 160. So we can conclude that after 16 minutes, the temperature of our water is 160 degrees. Part D, water boils at a temperature of 212 degrees. After 16 minutes of heating, how much additional time to the nearest minute will be needed for the water to boil? So now we are going to say temperature is 212. So we know that we're looking for the additional time beyond what we just discovered after 16 minutes. So we know that we're going to use y as our temperature and we wanna know when y is gonna be 212. So we're gonna solve for x. How many minutes will it take us to heat our temperature to a degree of 212? We're gonna subtract 40 from each side to isolate the variable term. 212 subtract 40 is 172. Now we want to solve for x, so we're going to divide each side by 7.5, and, and 172 divided by 7.5 is 22.93, repeating. They said to the nearest minute. So we're going to estimate this to be 23, and we know from our previous part it's after 16 minutes. So 23 
subtract 16 gives us 7, so we know that we need 7 additional minutes to heat our temperature to 212 degrees.